Welcome back to our special series on relationship movies. If you haven't seen part one yet, make sure to check it out for some incredible cinematic gems. Now get ready for part two. Number 10, Night Child 1972 is a psychological thriller film directed by James Kelly and Andrea Bianchi. The film tells the story of Marcus, a young boy who is haunted by the ghost of his dead mother. Marcus's father has remarried Elise and the two of them move to a remote villa in Spain. The relationship between Marcus and Elise is complex and fraught with tension. They're relatingly sexualized and it eventually leads to a tragic climax. Number nine in While We Were Here is a 2012 American romantic drama film written and directed by Kat Coiro and starring Kate Bosworth, Jamie Blackley, and Ido Goldberg. The film tells the story of a troubled writer named Alice who is trapped in a loveless marriage. She travels to Italy to work on a writing project, and there she meets a carefree American named Jack. Alice and Jack begin an affair, and it awakens something in Alice that she has been missing for a long time. The film explores themes of love, loss, and self-discovery. Oh my god. Oh. That's my husband. Number eight, Che Che Real Smooth is a 2022 American comedy drama film written and directed by Cooper Rapp. The plot centers on a 22-year-old college graduate who starts making money as a party starter, while he also strikes up a relationship with a 32-year-old mother. Rayef and Johnson's relationship is one of mutual respect and admiration. They are both talented artists who are passionate about their work. They have collaborated on a film that they are both proud of, and they have formed a lasting friendship. How are you feeling, Anthony? Not everyone cares that dad's dead. Number seven, Sinister Seduction, is a 2019 American thriller film directed by Damien Rome. The film tells the story of a recent widow who is happy when her son finds a new friend. However, the new friend is hiding secrets and has sinister intentions. The relationship between Sharon and Dylan is ultimately a cautionary tale about the dangers of getting involved with someone who is not who they seem to be. It is also a reminder that even the most seemingly innocent relationships can have dark and destructive consequences. Amor Bandido is an Argentine erotic thriller film released in 2021 and directed by Daniel Werner. The narrative revolves around Joan, a high school student who embarks on a romantic relationship with Luciana, his school teacher. Their bond leads them to elope, but Joan eventually uncovers a deceitful plot entangling him in a treacherous mesh of desire and materialistic pursuits. You need to move out. We're only here because our parents are getting a divorce. Number five, The Rebound is a 2009 American romantic comedy film written and directed by Bart Frundlich. The film tells the story of Sandy, a recently divorced mother of two who moves to New York City with her children. She meets Aramam, a much younger man who is also struggling to adjust to his new life. The two of them form a relationship, but it is complicated by the age difference and the fact that they are both still dealing with the aftermath of their previous relationship. Number four, The Lifeguard is a 2013 American comedy drama film written and directed by Liz W. Garcia, a former valedictorian who quits her job as a journalist in New York City and returns to her hometown in Connecticut. She gets work as a lifeguard and starts a dangerous relationship with a troubled teenager. Lay is a 32-year-old woman, and she is looking for something to give her a sense of purpose. Tyler is a 17-year-old boy who is struggling with his own issues, including his parents' divorce and his own feelings of isolation and loneliness. Number three, Sub Rosa is a 2014 short trauma film directed by Thora Hilmar's daughter. The film tells the story of a young boy who is bullied by his father to grow up. 
the boy is torn between his love for his stepmother and his desire to save his father's life. The film was nominated for a number of awards, including the Grand Jury Prize Film Festival. Number two, PS 2004 is a romantic drama film directed by Dylan Kidd, 39-year-old divorced woman who works as an admissions officer at Columbia University School of the Arts. One day, Louise receives an application from a young man who shares the name of her high school sweetheart who died in a car accident many years ago. Louise is immediately drawn to the young man who bears a striking resemblance to her lost love. Number one, five to seven, is a 2014 American romantic film written and directed by Victor Levin, a 24-year-old writer who has an affair with a 33-year-old married French woman, Arielle. Arielle and her middle-aged husband, Valerie, have an agreement allowing them to have extramarital affairs as long as they are confined to the hours between 5 and 7 p.m. Hello, I'm... Ariel's husband. To see more videos like this, subscribe to Zaylon Top 10.